Hey gang, this is my friend John Lancedell, fabulous artist, and this happens to be my dining room table. We're going to do a, uh, a tabletop for her, and we can use just regular house paints, some colors I've collected, which I always have. And the reason we can use those, they're all going to be finely coated with a, a thick resin, so it will seal all the colors in. They'll never crack, they'll never peel, they will never fade. They'll be under a nice thick coat of resin. So here we go. Here we go. This is how we pick colors for this project. We get into some of our old mist Ooh, tints. Yes. Pull out colors. Oh, that's edible. <laughs> oh, okay. Dear. We'll use a little of that. Uh-huh. See what we got here sealed up under tape. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, look at this color. Oh, wait till you see this. Oh, <laughs> this is beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> this will make a great painting. Oh man. Okay. Smells like barf, but it's good. This I know is good mm -hmm. because this was used downtown in the Dayton Arcade to paint the ceiling. Oh. Yeah, there you go. So we've got some great. Oh, look at that. I know, lime green. I painted some vegetables that color. I think it was like asparagus. Yeah. Up in the ceiling, 75 feet high. Yes. Look at that you color. Were 75 feet high, John? Ah, uh, yeah. Terrible. Up there on the roof of the arcade, I painted oh, a big gosh. cornucopia. Mm, wow. All right, and we got a little something here to add a little color at the end. Mm -hmm. A little bit of Liquitex. There. What real artists use? Yeah. Liquitex. Liquitex. <laughs> Perfect. Let's have some color fun. No kidding. <laughs> I love it. Oh, God. <laughs> she wants a rainbow of colors. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to get started with some nice reds. I need a great big brush. Make sure all that dirt's off. Mm -hmm. Can't have any dirt on this. Dog hairs, cat hairs. Actually, you can have all that in there. Won't matter. Okay, we're gonna get some colors going here. Start out with a red and play with it because your hand's your best brush anyway. So we're gonna get some nice reds going. Oh yeah. I'm gonna add this a little bit of sprinkles along the way once in a while. Mm -hmm. Get a little blue. Well, this is going to be a patriotic painting for sure. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, get a fresh brush. Get a little bit of blue going in here. I guess she wants a waterfalls effect. Um, don't try this at home. It's for professionals. <laughs> I love it. This is exciting. The biggest thing when you do this is just have fun. Right. And not be inhibited in any way. <laughs> just let it go. Mm -hmm. Have plenty of brushes. Oh, there's one of my favorite brushes. That's cool. That's been around a long time. <laughs> I just love forget. watching you work, John. Don't forget, we've got to put the edge on these. That's right. Because that's going to show when you're looking at the sides. We'll call this part of the gestural series. Because <laughs> it's showing paint in motion. Mm. And the best part is just using your fingers. Mm. And it's all water-based, so it, it's easy to come off. Don't wear gloves for something like this. You can't work with gloves. Yeah. So I feel like this is maybe a how-to work. It like is. I'm, like I'm showing you my secrets. That's right. Should be... Above all, be sure you got some old clothes on. <laughs> if you don't have old clothes on, you will be sorry. <laughs> Audrey and I run all of our good clothes. That's right. Things that weren't old became real old real fast. <laughs> <sighs> Well, there's where Everything declares, gets declared up. Paint pants, paint shirt. Yep. Until you don't have any clothes anymore that you can go out and 
look like a regular human being. And they say, what do you do? Guess. They say, oh, I paint. <laughs> I paint. Yeah. What kind of painting do you do? Oh, I paint on canvas and boards. See, they right away think you're painting walls, but... Oh, right, yeah. We gave that up a long time ago. Yeah. We let the amateurs do that. Uh, yeah, we make it look easy, but there's really so many tricks to do that. Yeah, it's like 45 years of... Uh, <laughs> 45 of, years of smearing paint. Right. Yeah. Makes a difference, John. Yeah. Audrey and I have our 10,000 hours in. Yeah, we do. So... At least that. By that, we've become... <laughs> We've become professionals. Professional masters. And we've gotten paid for it, so that makes mm -hmm. us professional. There you go. Basically. What you always want to be careful is you don't let your colors become muddy. Right. And it's so easy to do where you just put too much color on it and then it becomes almost just muddy brown. Mm -hmm. So always be careful. Yeah. This is going to be such a nice eye popping thing because everything's white, black, and gray. So I'm loving it. Okay. And always keep in mind that you got to know when to stop. <laughs> that might be as important as anything you do when you smear paint. Know when to stop. Mm -hmm. Hey, and it's never too late to start painting if you've always wanted to. Just just get started. Just designate a place in the garage. Stay out of basements. Mm. Just designate a place where you can have some fun. Get some colors flowing. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that changes your mood like paint. Hmm. Uh. Boy, and sometimes you have something that you've really made in there that you like and then you blow it and you cover it up but that's mm. okay too it lasted for a few moments and you got to see it mm. and then what you're doing subsequent to that is just as good if not better than what you had before mm. so don't be afraid mm. oh this will make your space pop because everything else is so white Everything else is so white girl in there. I know, I am a white girl, huh? <laughs> Last time I looked, I was a white girl. Uh-oh. <laughs> Got those Roman shades in there. Uh -huh. Sparkly silver walls. <laughs> you need some color. <laughs> yes, indeedy. And every time I sit there, I can think about you. There you go. See, that works. This is the final touches of putting some oh, yeah. nice black lines between yeah, your colors. That. Oh yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, and I love you just, you just drip it with a palette. Yeah. Cool, pink stir. Right? Yeah, brush holds the colors too much. You've got to use your mm. stir stick. Stir stick. Cool. To get it just the way you want it, right yeah. in there. Okay. Very nice, John. Yeah, I like that big teardrop right there.